Hi, it's Kevin from Jet Shades, and we snuck in to this 172 real quick while it's parked on the ramp. Um, made a deal with the owner. Uh, so I brought one of my pre cut 172 rear windows. This is for our heat blocker package. And we'll just show you that, you know, the 172, the trim around here, it's always going to be moving. It's always going to be different. So we're going to give you a pre-cut, and I'm sure you're going to have to trim it a little bit with a handy pair of scissors. We use these from Home Depot. They work great, but a sharp pair will work good. So basically, like in all the jet stage, what you're going to want to do is, you know, find a place where it pops in and goes down inside, like the rear well there, how it faced down there, and then put it here. And this one has like this uh, wool trim right here. So we can try to put it in front of the wool trim, and there it goes, popped in there. And the, and I'm just going to bend it a little bit, the jet shade that is, not the airplane. And um, and I'll push that, get it tucked up behind the trim right there. And lo and behold, we are getting there. I can bend this jet shade, manipulate it, and push it right behind the uh, this little screw there. I got to get past. And I'll work it. I'll work my way around it until I get it. Come on, to pop right in. And where it'll go and fit, super nice. Look like part of the airplane, there we go. So in about a minute, I'm just gonna smooth out these wrinkles by popping it in, pressing it in. And there it is, there's the 172 heat blocker. Now, this is an amazing uh, piece of technology because it's a highly engineered uh, piece of material to block heat. Hey, this is Matt with Jet Shades. We're here at a Cessna 172 installing our new windshield shade. So in our kit comes with, uh, we got four of these brackets here. We're gonna install up in the overhead. And first we're gonna clean it with the alcohol wipes that we supply. So we'll do a quick wipe. And there's gonna be four locations here that we put these. And we're just gonna kind of evenly space them out, you know, one on each end and two uh, just offset of the center. So we're gonna take our rag and just dry that area so it's nice, clean, and dry. Now we're gonna pull off this um, protective tape here on top of the dual lock on the bracket to expose the adhesive. And we're gonna put it up in place here and push really firmly because this is a pressure sensitive pressure uh, sensitive activated adhesive so the better push you put on it it's going to stick a lot better and this also only has about 50 percent bond strength when you initially put it up it does take a day or two to um, achieve full bond All right, now that we've got those up there, we're gonna take our windshield shade out of the bag. And you wanna to avoid touching it um, as much as possible so you don't get fingerprints on it. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna put the shade farther forward of the windshield here and just slide it right up into place so it engages into those brackets. And we're just gonna do one at a time And now that it's engaged in all the brackets, we're just gonna slide the shade all the way back. And now that it's engaged in the brackets, everything's held in place. In our um, windshield attachment kit bag here, there's gonna be some little ground uh, black squares of Velcro and then some other mating strips. So first we're gonna take another one of these alcohol wipes and clean an area on the windshield shade itself just in front of these brackets. Now you'll notice the brackets come pre-installed with one of these squares already on there. Now that I've wiped it dry, I'm going to go ahead and peel the backing off of this piece of Velcro and install it on the windshield jet shade and line it up with the velcro that's already on the bracket
Okay, now we're gonna come back and these other little Velcro straps that we've supplied are gonna create a little bridge in between these two halves. And what this is gonna do, is just gonna provide additional security to make sure that there's just no way that windshield shade is gonna slide out of there. Even though it's a nice, firm, snug fit in those brackets, um, we really wanna install this additional security on there. All right, and there you have it. You know, we're ready to go on a flight. Okay, so how much do they cool this off? Well, this is a BTU meter. This measures how many BTUs are passing through. So on the one without the shade, you can say 100% of all the BTUs are coming through. You can see that right there. Now watch this, I'll move it over to the one with the jet shade. And holy mackerel, only 18% of the BTUs are coming through. That means these jet shades are blocking, you know, 81, 82% of the actual BTUs that would hit you coming in. That means all the heat that's coming into this aircraft through this rear windows is 80% of it's now getting rejected by this jet shade. Combining with our front windshield, you can have one cool 172. So here's a infrared thermometer and it's pointing right at the carpet. Um, and it's reading about 122 degrees. That's the sunlight coming through the side without the jet shade. Let's check the side that's coming through with the jet shade. That's reading about 80 degrees. So again, let's go back up to the one with the carpet. That's 113 degrees right there. And then we'll come up here and holy mackerel, it's down to about 79 degrees. So you're really taking 30 degrees out of coming into this aircraft.